So, I weren't even here. So when did it start? I think you was in Greece. I was in Greece. You was in Banff in Canada, via Greece, and you turned up. But I've known Seeds. But you knew Seeds, yeah. And I basically, knew seeds. there was a battle on, an illustration battle that Terry Guy had set up between Birmingham and London, and it was happening in the courtyard. And it was the first thing anything like that had happened that anybody that I knew had ever seen. And um, Cutter Skink, the guy who ran it at the time. Legend. I think Birmingham murked off London straight because it had well, like we agent, the first it ever, was agent and two or something. Yeah, yeah, we won that. I think Birmingham never lost a battle in Brooklyn. Um, but after that first battle, um, Cutter Skink had to, he was moving away to Switzerland or something. Um, and me having filled in for the DJ that didn't turn up, he just said, can, I'm moving, can you like run this night for me? Because it was just starting up really, it was one of the first ever battles, 2007. Yeah, because I came to Birmingham 2008 and started the yeah. years. So. so I said I'd love to, well, or something along the lines of, I'd I might as well, because I live here. And I went to Seeds and I was like, yo, we're running this thing now. We, then we set up a series of battles that, that wasn't city on city, it was one on one. So we'd have lo local artists doing live illustration battles against each other. And we rolled then for about two years. We did the Big Chill Festival. We did yeah. loads of little expos. We did... Uh, we did heaps of stuff. We took it on the road for two years. It was me, Dan, Seeds. As, as and, the, uh, the snowball of Secret Wars was rolling, we were... I guess it was just at the rainbow as well, out of convenience, as well as it at the time. Well, it, yeah, it, it was it, an artist's destination because it was still grimy and it was There was graph all over the it, walls. It was fucking raw dog, weren't it? There was. That, that there were stickers up in the bogs and shit, and it was the kind of place that, even you know, before I got involved, it was the kind of place where graffiti artists would come and fucking tag the bogs. Yeah. It's not like, you know, so the they would, they would, they would yeah. and, and it wouldn't really be frowned upon, so to speak. So you would be kind of drawn to it. So it was, it was the perfect venue for it. So Secret Wars kind of blossomed in that scenario, in that setting. Uh, I think it was the first live art event in Birmingham as well. Well, like kind of yeah. competitive, definitely, weren't it? Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. art is a broad spectrum, but it's definitely the, illustration. the, the first live illustration that. competition that I'd ever seen. Then we rolled out. It was it was the fucking terrible trio of Keith Seeds and <laughs> Slobs, weren't it? Yeah. And, 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 and then here they come, the two oh, coke, yeah. the, t the two coke fucking conspirators of the whole thing. Yeah. The heyday of Secret Wars yeah. Birmingham, when we were fucking kicking every other fucking team in the country's ass as well. At that oh, point. Yeah, we just need to make that very clear that Birmingham were the fucking Don Juan. If you've ever seen, <laughs> if you've ever seen a Secret Wars illustration battle. Um, and you've ever seen anything to do with the Euro League that we did, which was like a European competition involving 16 cities. We got to the final in and lost to Amsterdam, unfortunately. Um, you will know that Birmingham, the Brum Six, Chu, Glenn, Phil, TX, Nuzo, um, don't let me miss anyone else. Filth. Filth, I'd say, I think I said Did it. Did you say Filth? Right. All them boys, we smashed people left, right and centre. In Berlin, we went and beat them. Lisbon, we beat them. Bournemouth, they weren't even worth talking I don't about. Know. I think for me though, like the Euro League was further on in the game, weren't it? It was like oh, we, we got the, real, bit, yeah. the real bit of Secret Wars was when it was in Brum and it was the one on one ba battles and the whole kind of scene rep that revolved around the rainbow was all very, you know, artists would drop in, it was open in the afternoon. Because there was a lot of it, artists it, it, about it was a be of them minds. be them like graffiti artists or street artists or illustrators or comic book writers or toy makers there were loads of people that were willing to step up and have have a little go against each other and but as well there was beef and you'd have like battles like kung fu jinny hai versus posh one who yeah. hated each other they yeah. just came out the hat like that um that was i mean there's so many funny instances that happened in the in the battle scenario, when Glenn turned up and just started drawing before anybody had even said go. When Siege got it, his eye knocked in after the grand final. <laughs> yeah, when, when, when Agent chucked a fucking milk crate at the stage during the judging in here, there was about a fucking thousand people in here going by me. I think the thing is, is like, 
it, it worked at the Rainbow because Secret Wars was it wouldn't have set worked up around, around, set at up the around time. that Fight Club vibe, yeah. weren't it? Yeah. So it was like, you know, it was in dirty, scungy yeah. warehouses and back rooms and places. And that's what the Rainbow was to us as well as a bit of a gap. Well, it was my well, home. I don't know if you talk about my home like that, but it was a scungy, dirty back room kind of setup. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. totally. Yeah, and it and it gave that fucking whole Fight Club appeal to it. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. The end of the day. I mean, it wouldn't have fitted anywhere else in Brum at the time, and it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have blossomed so well. It, and we've got to say big up to Lee in that for kind of letting us fucking murk off the wall. Well, I'll place. big up Shelton in the first place yeah. because it, I think it was him who suggested to Terry Guy and Cutterskink that, that I was the ideal candidate to kind of carry on running this thing. Yeah. And the amount of art that came to the rainbow from us well, doing was, Secret uh, Wars there, the amount of walls that got painted like for specific murals from Secret Wars artists that we brought through and everything. I mean, it kind of at one point, you know, near the end, it was the only thing where the rainbow still had the connection with, with the well, artists. Well, I think a lot of people looked at the rainbow in that sense where it was kind of a bit, bit of a, a welcome art space. It was a where artists could drop in and, yeah. like I said before, not just tag the bogs, but they could just come up and, and approach them and say, can we, you know, can we paint that fucking massive wall you got outside the warehouse? Can we... And, and it was like a, an open canvas for a lot of talented artists that have passed mm. through here, which had a lot to do with sequels to start with. Um, you don't see it anymore, everything's blacked out. How the rainbow has evolved, that's kind of the way that it's going. But it, it, it was, through our time, a, a kind of open canvas, wasn't it? The thing is, a lot of the EuroLeague stuff that we did, there was only the Lisbon battle that we did at the rainbow, yeah. when they didn't even turn up on time, because Terry Guy booked the fucking wrong flights, trying yeah. to be a cheapo. Standard. Standard. But the series that ran from that afterwards, we'd always do one-on-one -on -one series, at least one a year. The courtyard being a perfect setting for it. You can wax lyrical about the characters that pass through here. Like you'd get, I, I, I'd work in the pub. I remember, right, sleeping in Jinx's old room upstairs, and this can go in the fucking video. <laughs> <laughs> and me and Seed were up there one night. We locked ourselves in Jinx's old room. He just left because we couldn't fit in Slobs's room. We were trying to find a split that Jinx might have dropped down the side. He knew of his he'd bed. lost one at some point. And then the next thing you know, fucking Kent is going. Off. Kicking doors Kicking down, doors smashing down. like un unwashed washing up around like. And it would be like the biggest moment of fear that I've ever felt, ever in my life. Oh, you'd feel it in your stomach when you. I'd hear him. I'd, I'd hear just his footsteps, and I'd know I'm going to get sacked for something, whether it's not doing the washing up, playing darts. Uh, you know, you I know. I remember snorting ketamine off one of the steps you get upstairs. For that. You get sacked for that. You're not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to do that at all. Get I mean, that was off. an amazing like night. The, when, like, because obviously Rainbow used to have the ice cream van, the original. It's still, they've got three ice, now. Well, they've got three you. now, but this was the original, weren't it? And like for years and years, we've been busting their nut to kind of do something on it or paint it. So let's paint it out and draw on it. What was it? Man. It was like it was the first kind of showcase or street festival. It was a birthday or something. It was yeah. a Rainbow birthday, and we did Secret Wars on the ice cream van out in the street, and it was it was fucking an amazing day. We had like big systems set up either side of the van. We had what? We'd mulched it all white. Just carry on and draw all over that, like absolutely sound amazing. system coming out of it. Seed standing on top of it. What? What more what do you more need? Could, like live that's, art. That's that's Seeker Wars. That's the rainbow all over. I want to shout out uh, Rodders, big time. I want to shout out uh, Trav and Cal. What's the worst trouble you got into at a filming event? Seeds getting knocked out. Because they were there from day filming yeah. it. We set these Traffic we cow. set these guys up who were setting they were doing this whole footage by the way. Their first ever videography job was, was Secret Wars. Was coming into Secret Wars and pointing a camera at an artist and watching them draw. That was there and they're in there. Look at them professional. Big up the EXM. The EXM crew. <laughs> you can have that one in. The only other thing that I'll say about the Rainbow being involved is what it did, especially from my point of view, after coming up and meeting Dan and Seeds and everyone and doing the Secret Wars vibe, was that it gave me the bollocks and it gave me the platform to continue on doing my own nights in Birmingham. Mm. And that's been really important to me. And that's like, I will never forget. You that thought, it, this, it, this it looks it like a piece started, of piss. Let's have a it go. It all started at the bow, didn't it? You know, yeah, that's UTC, right. Yeah, you was like, Secret fuck Wars. this cooking malarkey. I ain't chefing no more. Nah. I'm, I'm going to promote gigs. Cause why, why do that when I can just come up and smash it in at the bow every weekend? Sweet, that's what I thought. And the rest is really history. Well, yeah, the it? rest is history and it can be... You can stay there, as far as I'm concerned. Is that us? And this is how... <laughs>